The people ask, O Messenger of Allah, what about our najd, najdina, our najd? Today when you ask people about najd, they have forgotten. They don't know what is najd. The term has disappeared. Like the term Constantinople disappeared. Why has this happened? When the Prophet himself used a name, it becomes Sunnah. Why change it? This is sinister that you should change a name used by the Prophet like Constantinople, like Najd. But our Najd, our our, our nudge they're talking about. If a people in Medina ask about our nudge, which nudge would they be referring to? Here we now come to the parting point between proper scholarship and bogus scholarship. Bogus scholarship. Fraudulent scholarship, scholarship which is betraying Islam, that is a scholarship we look for not somewhere else in Iraq or maybe in Disneyland. The time has now come with the Saudi attack on Yemen for us to expose you. When the Prophet answered, this is what he said, pointing to Najd. He said, from Najd, there will be fitna, test and trial for the people. And that's what we now experience. And earthquakes, and earthquakes are not only physical earthquakes, you have political earthquakes as well. You have monetary earthquakes as well, like the petrodollar monetary system. And he said about Najd, the corner of the triangle, the third corner, he said, Karn was shaitan. Karn means a horn. But Karn also means an age, a period of time. Methodology, that is proper methodology, is to go first to the Quran. And when we go to the Quran, we find that every time that Allah uses the name, the word Karn, He always uses it to mean an age or a period of time. And he has never used the word Qarn to mean Qon. And so we conclude that when the Prophet said about Najd, the third corner of the triangle, that this is Qarn of Shaitan, we say that's the Satanic age. So this corner and this corner, Baraka. And that corner, the Satanic age. So why are they hiding it? Why this bogus scholarship telling us that Najd is somewhere in Iraq or in Disneyland? Why? 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 The answer is because this, the unholy Saudi Wahhabi Alliance, which has hijacked the world of Arabia and taken Arabia into the hands of the Zionists, that unholy alliance of the Saudi family and the Wahhabi movement has come from Najd. It is Najdi. It is Najdi. At the same time that the body of Fir'aun was discovered in 1898. And Allah says in the Quran about the body of Fir'aun, Al-An وَقَدْ عَصَيْتَ قَبْ وَكُنْتَ وَبَعْدَ أُعُذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ الآن وَقَدْ عَصَيْتَ قَبْ وَكُنْتَ مِنَ الْغَافِرِينَ فَالْيَوْمَ نُنَجِّيكَ بِبَدَنِكَ لِتَكُونَ لِمَنْ خَلْفَكَ آيَةً وَإِنَّ كَثِيرًا مِنَ النَّاسِ عَنْ آيَاتِنَا لَغَافِرِينَ When the body of Fir'aun is rediscovered, when it resurfaces on a historical process, then history will repeat itself. لِتَكُونَ لِمَنْ خَلْفَكَ آيَةً There are people who live the same way you live will die the same way you died, Fir'an. 
And so, the body of Fir'aun being discovered meant that the countdown, the last countdown of Akhiru Zaman had commenced. And precisely four years after the body of Fir'aun was discovered, this, the Najdi Saudi family came and took Riyadh in 1902. The same thing happened in Paris. When the conference took place to plan the collapse of the Ottoman Empire in 1902, the Zionist movement was created in 1897, just, just about the same time that the body of Quran was discovered. Six years after the conference in Paris, the Ottoman Khilafat collapsed and the Sultan was deposed. And now a godless secular Turkish young Turks take over the Ottoman government. Hmm? So this is not by accident that in 1902 the Saudis came and took Riyadh and the current of shaitan now begins. The Saudi Wahhabi alliance is current of shaitan. They have brought the age of Satan, the satanic age. This is the triangle of Akhirul Zaman. And now that they have come out from behind the parda, behind the hijab, to attack Yemen, we say that this is the beginning of the end of Saudi Arabia. And the Zionists are now planning the collapse of Saudi Arabia so they can replace it with something worse than Saudi Arabia, namely ISIS. But at the end of it all, the attack on Yemen, in which so many of our people are becoming shuhada, so many are becoming shuhada because of your cowardly attack on them from the air. You're too afraid to come on the ground to fight them. No, you're cowards. And the people of Saudi Arabia will not fight their own brothers. No. So the Saudi family is bombing from the top. And you, you, as you bomb the people and innocent people are killed, they become shuhada. And those who are doing the bombing and going to the hellfire, we say, this is the triangle of Akhirul Zaman. And from this will emerge the fire from Yemen, prophesied by Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, which will liberate the Arabian Peninsula and drive them to their place of assembly for judgment. And we can't wait for that. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may bless those who now resist the attack and the aggression on Yemen. Rabbana taqabbal minna inna kanta samir alim. وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين